Get the poison. I'm sorry, dear brother. The Smith's family shares are now mine. Daddy! Get him! Leave now, little girl. It's just the battery. Are you sure to get rid of body? He saw everything, you idiot. We don't have a choice. Samantha, breakfast ready. What's the most, sweetie? You know how badly she wants to work for Smith Corp. <laughs> it's like the best fashion magazine in the world, but I gotta get there because I'm gonna be late. Okay, well, good luck to you, sweetheart, First okay? Mm -hmm. Bye! Love Bye. you! Love you! Hey, who's she? That's my sister Vera, but she disappeared. You never tried looking for her? You never tried looking for her? I did. But we lost all leads. I still have a shoot to get to. <laughs> Don't you get it? My family owns Smith Corp. So if I tell them to wait, well then they'll ask me how long. It's your brother's office. You could come back at any minute. Then we better be quick and fast. <sighs> Where the hell is Daisy? I don't know. Hi, I'm Samantha. You? Who the hell are you? Oh, I'm I'm Samantha. I'm here just to you know help my boss out. Go get changed, quick. No, <laughs> I'm I'm not a model. I'm just here to bring some paperwork. Boss, this is Daisy's shoe. Not anymore. She's Bert Smith's girlfriend. No, I don't care. <laughs> You see, I don't wait for anybody. Sorry, why are you still here? Go get changed. I've never done a shoot before. Go get changed. Go, Cleopatra, that's the one. River, the river. Lovely, that's it. That's teeth, honey, okay? Perfect. But, yep, that's it, that's it. Yep, that's perfect, right there, stay there. You're a natural, sweetheart. You're an absolute natural. Do you ever think about taking up modeling? Oh, Sorry, I'm late. Let's get started. Sorry, who are you? Daisy, the cover girl. Hello. You're not needed anymore. You can go home. Excuse me? We found someone better, and frankly, better looking too. I'm so sorry. Do you know who I am? Yeah. Maybe somebody who's bad at respecting other people's time. <laughs> you bitch. Ah, what's going on here? Stole my role. I'm sorry, she was late, so I, I stepped in. You stole Daisy's cover shoot? Like I said, she was late. You're fired. What? Why? This is my company, and you offended my girlfriend. You must be Bert Smith. I used to have a lot of respect for your company. You know what? I quit. Okay. Ah. Uh. Well, you don't worry. I will call my brother and we will rearrange this shoot for you, okay? Fuck you, Bert Smith. <sighs> what? Your my dad got been into in a car, car accident? Mom! Mom, how's dad? He's in surgery right now. Don't worry, okay? Doctor. How's my husband? He suffered severe head trauma. He's now in a vegetative state. <sighs> what did you just say? Joseph? He's a vegetable? Oh, no, Mr. Smith, I was referring to another patient. Then where is my brother? And how is he doing? Well, Victor, the surgery patient, is the only one that we've been talking about. Please excuse me. Doctor, please. You have to save my dad. We're going to do our best. What are you doing here? Are you following me now? I'm here for my dad. <laughs> so the man that's in charge of my brother's wreck is your father? It was your brother that hit my dad. Samantha, who is he? It's Bert Smith, the second son of the Smith family. His brother is the reason that dad is in a coma. That's absurd. <laughs> 
The police said that Joseph is the reason for the accident. Your family is the reason why my dad is a vegetable. Don't forget who you're talking to. I'm a Smith, and I will set my lawyers on you and bury you in lawyer cases until you die. This bullshit, Samantha Dempton. We can't afford to provoke them. Mr. Smith, forgive her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I apologize on her behalf. Mom, they need to be taken responsible. Samantha, we have to keep the peace at all costs. At all costs? You know, she doesn't really seem to agree with that. Yes, Mr. Smith, at all costs, whatever you ask. Then apologize. We didn't do anything wrong. I mean, no apology, then I'll ensure when your father wakes up, he's going straight to jail. I mean, that is if he even wakes up. Mr. Smith, please accept my apology on her behalf. I apologize. I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. I said I'm sorry. Bert, that's enough. I can't leave you alone for five minutes. Mom, these people hurt our family. They deserve to be punished. You're the one who caused my son's injury. Miss Smith. What do you want? Your son put my father in a coma. I want justice. Justice? Or are you asking for money? I'm sorry, Mrs. Smith. We didn't mean to cause any trouble. It's money you want. Pick it up from the floor. You! If I pick this up, will you leave us alone? Mom, no! Don't stop me. <laughs> ah! What yeah. are you doing? Let go of her! What's wrong? Don't you need the money? You bastard. Watch her. I mean, just look at how diligent your mom is. Bastard, let go of me! This is much she's just a child! Bert, stop it! Bert, stop! Joseph, I heard about the accident. I was so worried. Okay, Mom. This is how we raised you. To hurt people who can't defend themselves. I'm very sorry. The accident. It's my fault. I have to pay for your father's medical bills. Do you really think money can fix everything? Samantha, Mr. Smith is trying to apologize. Fine. But if my father doesn't wake up from a coma, I'm suing you. <laughs> you don't know when to quit, do you? Bert, stop. <sighs> Samantha Joseph has already settled the bills. He kept his word. He's obligated to. Now that you're at odds with the Smith family, what are you gonna do about your work? I quit. Oh, but wasn't that your dream job? I can pursue my career anywhere else. Dad's recovery is my first priority. My birthday is coming up soon. I was thinking... Shut up. Mom. Do you remember that today's also your sister's birthday? Vera? You're twins. Have you ever stopped to think where she is while you're here living this life? Have you stopped to ask yourself if she's got food, warm clothes? It's been 15 years, and we haven't stopped looking for her. <laughs> Who knows if she's still alive? Bert, get out. Get out. Mommy, you okay? It's been 15 years. Where is Vera? Could Bert be right? Could she be? Hey, don't worry. I'll find her, okay? Say those things to Mom. You know how much she misses Vera. You know, I haven't had a single birthday celebration because of Vera. And I just, I want to feel normal. And I miss her, and I do, but what can I do? Look, I'll talk to Mom. We'll figure out a birthday celebration. Really? You would do that? Yes. Of course. But look, about the girl, I know what you're thinking. Hey. Don't harass her. That girl, 
Are you in love? No, of course not. It's just, it's just what? It's just, do what I say, Bert. Okay. Hello? Mr. Smith, we have a lead on Miss Barron. This is the place. Are you sure we're not mistaken? I mean, Vera in a place like this. Look, the lead can't be wrong. You want to find Vera the most, right? Yeah, but... We're already here. Let's search the place thoroughly. Fine. All right, here's the deal. I'm going to go ask over here. You look over there. And hey, do it respectfully. you doing here? Pervert! Oh, what the fuck? Why are you pretending to be my sister? What do you think you're doing following me, you fucking creep? Wouldn't you like that, you delirious fucking bitch? <gasps> Stop! What are you doing? You're supposed to be helping our sister, not attacking an innocent woman. But Joseph, she's trying to pretend to be like Vera to trick us all and to make us all look like a fool. If you lost your goddamn mind, apologize to her now. Bert, say you're sorry. Now. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, let me help. It's the least I could do to make up for my brother. Come on. So, this is where you live, huh? Yeah. Can I get you anything to drink or? I'm okay. You have a first aid kit? Yeah, right behind you. 